ladies, I don't know who, what, when, where, why the fuck, everybody got so soft, twisted up like scrunchies over dudes that don't even text them back, but turn the fuck up. It's time to run shit. I've said it before, whoever cares less in the relationship runs shit. They control that relationship. And you being on his fucking page every day, watching who he's following, is making you subconsciously care way more than you should. So get the fuck off his page, turn your red receipts on, slide into another man's DM, run game on this motherfucker, go on a date with another man this week, that's your fucking goal, get on a different date, okay? Go see somebody else, schedule multiple dates if you want, double header that bitch, okay? Do something, but do something for yourself, run game on his ass, flip that shit back on him, make him question shit, okay? Are we good? I love you, you're way too bad to be tripping about a lame, okay? I love you guys. This is how you spray your perfume if you want to smell sexy, but not like overtly sexy, like sweet with a sexy undertone. This is Prada Candy, and it is perfect for this effect because it has a nice light top note and a rich undertone. One, two, three, pat together, and one on the top of the head, and now you're ready to go. Woo! When somebody doesn't like you in that way, there are some really specific things that they're going to do that are going to let you know that they're not that into you. First thing is actually a word. And if you hear them say this word um, too often, it means that they actually don't like you. It's actually busy. If someone says that they're busy all the time, it means that they are super not interested. Have you ever notice that they've remembered some silly tiny little details in your life incorrectly, like someone's name or where you were going? Yeah, that's not a coincidence. That's because they're mixing you up with someone else and that they don't like you. They don't text you back reliably. So if you've ever been waiting for 24 hours or like, God forbid, longer, it means that they are not that into you. Do not delude yourself into thinking that like if they did it once, they're not going to do it again. If a guy waits that long to text you back, it is legit because you are not the first on his list and you are going to stay that way. Ever notice that when you're talking, he looks at his phone or is distracted by like a text message or in general, you're talking and if you're in a relationship and you think you might be getting cheated on, there are a few telltale things that you need to look out for right now. As a relationship therapist, I have literally seen hundreds of people that have gotten cheated on, but I've also had the weird experience of working with the cheaters themselves. So I know that these are true. First thing is that they start taking unusual interest in their physical appearance. So if they didn't work out before, they like start working out or wearing cologne or something that you've literally never noticed them do and then now all of a sudden they care. They guard their phone as if their life depended on it. And if they're sitting near you using their phone, they angle it away from you. They come up with overly detailed explanations of where they were and what they were doing and you're like, I didn't even ask. Like, why are you explaining in that much detail where you were? They do this because they're trying to cover their tracks and make sure that you don't ask any more questions. They the other day I was at my office and I was conducting job interviews and a candidate came in and she was literally wearing the Narciso Poudre scent, which is hilarious because if you watched my TikTok from the other day, I was at the office and I literally threw this scent in my bag. I was literally wearing the same perfume as her. So she comes in and I was like, oh my gosh, first of all, she has style, she has taste, love her so much already, but no, more seriously, she smelled clean, she smelled powdery, it was so pleasant and it was the perfect amount of scent to like not overpower, but still seem super wonderful. For those of you guys who don't know, Narciso Poudre is, basically smells like woody, powdery vanilla and i actually think it has a hint of cashmere too the best part of all of this is that she actually got the job <laughs> and i don't think it was all just the perfume obviously she was an amazing candidate but let me know if you guys want a full review because it's definitely worth it bitch don't ask me who i be on i'm just trying to hit it with my gucci on netflix and she'll put this movie on hi i'm worried back it up 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 you have a wristband no, no. Why you can't get in? You need a wristband. For the free? No, I'm not gonna mess with you for the free. Please. I don't even know you. Please. No. Please. You need to leave.